the Duke of Sussex wants to return to the UK for the service of Thanksgiving for Prince Philip which will be held at Westminster Abbey on March 29 this year. His legal team state that he wants to return to the UK to see family and friends and that most of all, this is and always will be his home. The Home Office is currently locked in a high court battle over his bid to personally fund his own security when he arrives in the UK. The Duke of Sussex is currently making a legal challenge against a February 2020 decision by the Royal and VIP Executive Committee, REVEC, which prevents him from paying for his own security whilst in the UK. But there is now a discrepancy between Prince Harry and the Home Office over his original claim that he wanted to fund his own security. Matt Wilkinson Royal Correspondent at The Sun tweeted, Last month after the Mail on Sunday broke the story, a spokesman for Harry responded with, The Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January of 2020 at Sandringham. That offer was dismissed. However, Mr Wilkinson then said the Home Office had strong words in response to Harry's claims he would fund private security. In documents handed to the court, the Home Office states Harry did not offer private funding when he returned in June 2021 at any of the pre-action correspondence which followed. Home Office lawyers then explained to court on Friday that it was irrelevant for the Duke of Sussex to ask to pay for his own security in the UK. Robert Palmer QC, acting for the Home Office, said, Personal protective security by the police is not available on a privately financed basis. Revec does not make decisions on the provision of such security on the basis that any financial contribution could be sought or obtained to pay for it. The Home Office also claimed that Prince Harry's offer to fund his own security on return to the UK was, notably not advanced to Revec, at the time of his visit in June 2021. The Home Office added that is was not communicated in any pre-action discussions. They added that police protection is not for sale in the UK. 